Okay, third time's the charm. This is the third time I've tried to make this video. And either YouTube keeps knocking me off, or I get a phone call from my HR manager, which you can't ma miss that. <laughs> so we're going to give it one more shot. And if it doesn't succeed on this one, I give up. <laughs> so I'm Frankie, and um, I am making this video um, one so that I can monitor my transition so I can see where I am today and where I will be down the road. Um, and I'm also doing it to pass on some of the information that I got from my doctor um, because a lot of the information that's out there is not true and it has it made me very nervous when I was considering you know doing transition and it made me not want to start tea because of a lot of the things that I had heard um, it made me nervous and it and, and scared I'm not gonna lie very scared um, so I want to kind of nip some of that in the bud if anybody watches this video okay um, I started I went to the doctor probably or the therapist um, probably two months ago um, and I didn't go yeah I set an appointment a friend of mine on one of the Facebook uh, websites um, had a therapist that you could talk to over Skype and get your tea letter she was awesome and she was very knowledgeable and uh, very loving and very caring um, the whole thing took 40 minutes maybe an hour and she sent off my tea letter instantly afterwards as soon as I made my doctor's appointment she just needed to know where to send it and it was there um, the whole thing the appointment was $75 and then the tea letter was a hundred um, I work for an amazing company I work for Verizon and if you're looking for a job I highly suggest them shameless plug but the reason I, I suggest them is because not only do they give you insurance the very first day that you start working for them but they also cover your transition without without question um, which for me is pretty damn amazing so um, yeah so if you're interested in Verizon I would go to verizon.com and apply if they have any jobs open in your area it's definitely a bonus job um, anyway so my insurance paid for the appointment and my FSA paid for the the, the um, letter um, so that was nice so I ended up paying like 20 bucks for the whole entire thing um, then I called another for our message another friend because I had no clue on any of this where to start. I mean, I've read all of the forums and I've gotten my fears and I've gotten some information up and down and left and right. And I went and I contacted a friend of mine in Colorado and asked him where, you know, he went to his doctor. And to set the appointment, it took probably another two months. Like I said, it was two months. Um, I got to go see her on the 10th and went in and she was amazing like seriously this woman as soon as she walked in I felt 100% taken care of amazing um, she informed me a lot of the stuff that I heard was not true and a fear that I could definitely put at ease like um, the fear that testosterone is going to shorten my life I was told that you know I would maybe be able to live 10 years or 15 years on T and it doesn't shorten my life at all it, and, and if you take it and are doing it against the doctor's instructions yeah of course it's gonna sh sh uh, shorten your life because you're doing it wrong you know, you're you're if you're putting it in without a uh, doctor you know prescribing it to you or if you're going past what they get with the amount that they give you uh, hello you don't do that with anything you're supposed to take what they prescribe you because you're putting something foreign in your body um, 
so that was a nice, you know, thing that I didn't have to worry about anymore. Um, and then, you know, there are different ways of doing, you know, just tea out there. There's, uh, you know, there's the shots, of course, um, the gel, and then there's the patch. So, you know, I was, I asked her, I was like, so which is better? And, you know, because I've heard out there that a lot of people are, the shot's the way to go. The shots are the way to go because it goes directly into your body and it works faster. And, um, you know, you get your results faster. Guys, the truth of it is, it's all the same. Testosterone works fast on its own. The shots do give you one benefit, and the benefit to the shots are you only have to take them once a week if that's what they're if that's the milligram that they're giving you. Uh, hers you have to take once every two weeks to once every month. Um, but the fact of the matter is, tea is tea. It's very strong and it's very potent and it works quick. So. It isn't the fact that it's coming in a shot, it isn't the fact that it's coming in gel, and it isn't the fact that it's coming in a patch. Um, it's just the way that you take it. So if you are looking at the shots, the one benefit to the shots is they're cheaper. You can go through Strohecker's and you can get a decent amount, um, and you can get your needles and all that other good fun stuff for, you know, I think it's $60 or something like that. I don't know, I haven't looked into it, because I myself don't like to stab myself with anything uh i am pierced everywhere but the fact of the matter is i'm terrified of needles i have tattoos everywhere i'm terrified of needles so she i said if there's any other way for me to do it i would really like to and she goes well we have the gel or we have the patch and i said the gel i've heard that that you know is messy and it gets you know it can get everywhere on your clothes and it can get if somebody else touches it they can get tea and she said, you're right, but it isn't, like, it actually goes into your skin fairly quick. So it's not like it's going to be there forever, um, and it's it's not as messy as you think it is, but it is very expensive. So then I asked about this patch. So I said, uh, you know, tell me about it. I go, does it, you know, is it going to, like, get into me slower or what have you? And she says, testosterone's the same no matter what form you take it in. So that right there was enough for me. Um, so now I'm on the patch, and I have been since the 10th. And I have to tell you that it's easy, and it's simple, and it's not... Um, it's not cheap, uh, but I have insurance again, so the patches were $170, and I paid 60 of that with my insurance. So, for me, personally, 60 bucks a month for me works. I can afford it, my insurance helps me, and it comes out of my FSA, so bring it on. Um, so the patch that I get is called Androderm. It's kind of probably backwards on there, but this is what it looks like. Um, it is just, as I said, a little patch. That's it. There's the back on there. So, um, it comes like so with the backing on it, like so, okay? Um, something that I learned that I wish that I would have known the first few days that I took it, and that's yet another reason why I'm doing this video um, when you peel it off, you're gonna, so when you peel it off, you're gonna see that little circle disc in, that's sticking to this. I did not realize that this actually is supposed to stay on this piece of plastic. Um, I thought it was part of the patch, so I was peeling it off and putting it on my skin with it. Um, it actually is supposed to come off, guys. So if you do Androderm, just make sure you pull the whole thing off, and it's actually supposed to look like that. Okay? Um, and then you just put it on your skin. You can put it on the back of your legs, um, your arms, or your back. So, that's it. Just sits there. Don't have an issue with it. I haven't had one yet fall off, um, 
make sure your site is clean so alcohol it up or wash it up make sure you wash your hands before you put it on and stick it on and it stays on for 24 hours each patch is two milligrams and yeah it's that simple for me it's that simple um, like I said no benefits to one getting in your body faster than the other T is T and that's how it works um, so the only big benefit of, as far as uh, doing it in the shots is the price and the fact that you know you only have to do it once a week but like I said for me for me not having to stab myself I am happy so okay um, I think that was uh, oh uh, the so when I was going back and backtrack just a little bit about you know tea shortening your life um, so the one thing that I do uh, remember her telling me was the fact that the one um, big thing that you do have to fear or two of them there's two of them of course cancer you know um, you can end up getting that you know uterine cancer and stuff like that but uh, that one is true and the other one is you have uh, a likely chance that you could turn into a diabetic um, that scares me because diabetes runs in my family in a big big way um, but we're monitoring it and we will do everything that we need to do as far as you know making sure that that's not gonna happen I mean it could but I'm gonna hope that it doesn't um, that's pretty much all I've got as far as like where I am right now my voice is already uh, not dropping but my voice has always been low um, so I don't notice if it's dropping just yet yet again I am gonna be doing this video uh, I don't know as often as I can um, so I guess we'll see how that ends up happening um, I have not yet told my family uh, that I'm transitioning my dad is gonna probably be okay but I'm not sure my mom is not gonna be okay I can guarantee that um, I figured that before things start actually changing I have some time um, you know things aren't gonna start actually happening for a few months or something like that but I promised myself before my next birthday that I was going to start this and I'm not going to let myself down because you only get one life guys and you got to live it exactly the way as you're, that you're meant to. Um, back in high school if I would have thought about doing this I probably would have ended up strapped to some freaking post somewhere. Pardon the symbolism but it's true I'm from a small little town in Nebraska and I wasn't really accepted as it was when I was younger um, I had a lot of friends don't get me wrong but I was also also a star athlete so that definitely made my life a lot easier when it came to high school and junior high um, and then I was a bully so nobody really wanted to mess with me back then um, which was sad because that's how I had to live my life to survive but um, now I can say that I don't you know really like to beat up people too much <laughs> um, so that that will happen we're going um, for my dad's birthday here uh, in October so I don't quite know if I really want to tell him over his birthday but um, it's coming soon um, we'll see what happens it will either be hey Frankie you know everything's good or it won't be but we'll see um, as far as work's concerned, work is amazing. Everybody there, if, even if they don't accept me, they respect me enough to call me by male pronouns. If they slip up every once in a while, but uh, for the most part, they pretty much keep on on board with he, sir, all that other good fun stuff. And here, really soon, once things start, you know growing and all that other fun stuff they're really not gonna have much of a choice cuz calling me she it would probably be more awkward than anything um, I am trying to figure out name change um, I want to get that done soon because 
My real name's Francesca, and you will never hear me say that again. Um, it's very uncomfortable and annoying, and every single time that I punch in my uh, code at work to punch in, the stupid machine says my name, and I just want to rip it off the wall and throw it. So, um, yeah, it's pretty much all I've got. I don't have a ton. Uh, I'm pretty simple. Uh, live my life by going to work and sometimes going out and playing, but for the most part, I'm, I'm an old guy, so I'm pretty set in my ways as far as wanting to be at home in my house and loving on my dogs, who's currently sitting here staring at me because he feels like I'm ignoring him. Come here, Bubba. Come here. Come here. Ah, well, I was going to get him to say hi. He doesn't really want to. Um... Yeah, so um, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this for money. I'm not doing this for you to like. I guess there's websites out there called GoFundMe and things along those lines. If I want top surgery and I want bottom surgery, you can damn well be sure that it's gonna be a mountain that I climb on my own. And I am. I mean, maybe somewhere down the road there might be a party. Like you know, one of those. Bye bye boobies parties or whatever they're called, but that would be to celebrate and that would be to mark my, you know, finally getting rid of a part of me that feels completely uncomfortable. Um, but I don't really think that I want to have people give me their money when they're currently trying to do the same exact thing themselves. I mean, who knows in the future I might get to the point to where I can't do it myself and it's something that needs I do need help, but so I can say right now it's kind of one of those things where I want to be proud of myself for doing it myself. Um, like I said, I don't know what the future holds, but if it meant that I could do it faster, hey, you know, I don't call me a hypocrite, so that it's a possibility, but I can say right now it's not. Um, I want to do this so that I can pass on the information that I get from my real doctor versus um, what the websites say because uh, a lot of the things that I read on the website was a lot of the reasons why I didn't want to transition and, and I did go by he and I did go by sir but I didn't want to take the T because of the fears that I got from it. I want to nip those in the bud, and I want to give you guys information if it's holding you back and it's stopping you from making that next step. I want to be sure that I give you the information that you need. Um, and if you need the information to get your T letter, um, you can private message me, and I will get you that information as well. Because the doctor is incredible, and the fact that you can be anywhere and do a Skype session with her and get your T letter is awesome. She might make you do it once or twice, you know, who knows how many sessions you would have to have, but, you know, if you can be anywhere and you're having a hard time getting your letter, and it's not just for T, you can go the other route as well. You can do F, um, M to F or F to N. She does all of them. Um, but if you're having a problem finding a doctor or anything and you want to stay at the comfort of your home and freaking have a, you know, a session over Skype, why not do that? You know, why go and have to face a stranger in person? Why don't you just be in the comfort of your home with your dogs, with your sofa, with everything else and just get what you need? Um, it's never too late, guys. Uh, I have yet to inform you of how old I am, but I mean, I'm not ancient, but I will be 40 this year, so the fact that I'm starting this now is definitely a birthday present to myself. Um, so I look forward to the changes, and I hope you do as well. Uh, I will post, and if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, please do so. Um, I look forward to being one of those success stories and, and being able to make changes for people. So, um, add me, uh, share me, do whatever you gotta do. That sounded really dirty, but in the, when it happens, you guys are gonna realize I'm a pretty dirty, dirty, dirty guy. Um, <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and, uh, I look forward to having you join me and my journey along the way. Alright, have a great day.